What's up, everybody? I am Adam Richmond from Adam Richmond Eats Britain on the Food Network, and today I am going to be blind ranking 10 British foods. Lord help me. Okay, item number one. It's the Scotch egg, AKA the working man's apple. Got it. Now, again, and these are traditionally served cold, correct? Yeah, it's cold. And that will automatically bring them very low. I'm gonna put that in 10. You sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold meat product with cold egg. No, I need, I need to try it again. I and mean, if I want to crap my pants, I just don't need to do it on camera. Okay, watch on right. It's going right to the bottom. Right to the bottom. You know what it reminds me of is Big Keith on The Office. I will not eat this. We are confident that the next nine items are all going to be better than this. I think all food on the planet is better than that. Good. It's a scone. And I or is there a scone? So as I've heard, it's a scone from Scone in Perthshire. So I'm I, I'm a big fan, and I love that you went cream and then the jam always. Oh, I, I'm a, I'm quite a big fan. I'm mm, I don't know what else is coming, so I should probably leave a wee bit of room. But it is a real solid one. I'm gonna give it a number four mm. just to give myself a wee bit of ceiling. Uh huh. That's so I'm gonna go for you. See again, you need tea or water, young man. By the way, nice outfit. Thank you. I see you get the memo. Number three, Battenberg cake. I'm not familiar with Battenberg cake. I believe it's 19th century and it was designed for some kind of royal. I think it's disgusting. Is there a certain flavor to it that's good? Yes, think? marzipan. Oh. For me, it's devil spawn. Oh yeah. Scotch check should have been nine. If it's got marzipan, I'll give it a... Oh, so you hate marzipan too? Oh, I'm gonna have to do it as well then. I actually, it's the only food I despise. Even the smell makes it. Yeah, frangipan, like any of like, and I love almonds. Like I genuinely love almonds. Wow. Wow. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, no, that's we fine. need to have, we need to put 11 on the board. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, well, that's gotta be, that's gotta be nine. Custard creams. Oh, lovely biscuit. A lovely biscuit. I should probably leave room in case you're gonna throw like digestives at me. Um, no, these are these are lovely, um, but I don't know what else is coming, but I think, huh. I'll give it a five, I'll give it a five. It's a good salad biscuit. I love a good sandwich sandwich cookie. Mid table. Yeah, mid, mid, mid table, absolutely. I'm going up, going down. Oh, I love Boddington. Whoa, that's a surprise. Cheers. Cheers. I thought you, this was thrown in as a wild card that I didn't think you would know. No one at home knows that it's 10 a.m. That's fine. It's 5 a.m. So 5 p.m. 5 p.m. somewhere. 5, 5 a.m. Somewhere, somewhere, baby. It depends how you're living, man. Where's it going to go on the leaderboard? I don't know what else there is, but I am fine. I may put it just behind custard cream. Uh, because I guess I maybe biscuits over beer, so maybe number six, but still a, a fine, fine drinking beverage. Respectable. Number six. Okay. What is that? Trifle? That is a trifle. Trifle's lovely. Now you kind of, you understand with a trifle. You, you go through the whole layers, layers yeah, so right? It's quite a precarious, some technique to spoon in this all at one. You sort of go through the edge and get a little bit of everything. A little bit of the rim. Oh, we moved the hole. Sorry. So we've got sponge, custard, sponge jelly, custard. cream. Have I got it all? I can't think tell. Think you've got it all, yeah. I think so. Cheers. Is there like jello on the bottom? Like Yeah, it's like jelly. You guys call jelly? Jelly, yeah. I'm going to put an eight. Not a fan. I like trifle, I don't like that trifle. And the other ones I've had don't have the jello or jelly humid. Because in, okay. in America, you pretty much only eat that when you've got a bad stomach, you're in the hospital. So yeah. I'm gonna go eight. Okay, um, favorite food that is also a verb? Favorite food that's also a verb. Hmm. That's a great question. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mash? Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Do you like dates? I mean, you know, depends on the season. Let's go. 
Oh, Monster Munch, pick a long in? He knows. Elite level crisp. We were saying before we had interviewed Steve O, and he was, he's got a big, he's got an addiction. I came over up playing just. Hey, dude, I love these, man. These are so good. Yeah, pretty good, yeah. The thing is, I always thought it was a paw, but then my mate said, no, that's the monster's head, that's its arms, and that's its legs. Again, it's one of these pointless, controversial topics. Is it an eye Please. with eyelashes right here? Is it a claw? Is it a weird squid mutant? You decide. It's delicious, though. I'm going to allow myself a wee bit of headroom. I'm going to go number three. Number three, bronze medal for the Monster Munch. Is that a Jamie Dodger? Incorrect. What is it, a wagon wheel? Incorrect. Good guesses. I don't take. Oh, oh, I don't even have to try it. Seven. Oh, have you had one before? Chocolate and orange don't go together. Seven. Oh! Wow. What the? Don't at me. Seven. Sorry. Oh. I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> oh, I missed. The controversy around this is... Is it a cake or a cookie? Yeah, a cake or a biscuit. It's called a cake, but is that... Would you call that a cake? I call it a biscuit by its sheer size. It's a cakey biscuit, but a biscuit nonetheless. Ready? Sausage roll. Sausage roll. You know what? I've had them hot and I don't mind them. I will say number two. Again, though, eating it cold is still a bewilderment to me. But because I'm trying to encompass the warm, good ones that I have had as well, I'm going to say number two for the sausage roll. Yeah. I, now I'm very nervous because if number one is something disgusting, like I am chained to the wheel forever, that it's like, oh, those Jaffa cakes don't seem so bad now, do they? So, with the gold medal in first place. Please be good. Please be good. Please be good. Is it Ribena or something? Say hello to my little friend. Oh, bu uh, bu bu Buck, what's it called? Buckfast. Buckfast. Yeah, it's a fortified wine from Scotland. Buckfast. And you know the saying? No. Buckfast gets you fast. Really? Yeah, because it's 15% and it's caffeinated. It's caffeinated? Yeah. So basically, what? Why are people not content? starting their day with this? Yeah, I guess you got to a good start. You know something? So we kind of are, Adam. You know, I, I'm not necessarily sure it should be in number one. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. It's distinctive, isn't it? It's number one. <laughs> in gold place, Adam Richmond's favorite British food or drink, Buckfast. <laughs> Cheers, Adam. Oh. Nice. Yeah, tell it to my stomach. They're having all this in one sitting. Oh, well, it's early, isn't it? It is early. It's early for a lot of this stuff, bro. But hey, man, it's been fun. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Wanna? Yeah, why not? Mom will appreciate it. Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, guys.